When ITA operates at full power, it'll be producing billions and billions of neutrons per second. And those neutrons take away the lion's share of the energy that's produced in each fusion reaction. We have to capture the energy of the neutrons, and to do that, we surround the plasma by a blanket. This blanket is made up of steel cooled by water. How does the blanket look to a neutron? To a neutron, all material is made up of atoms and a lot of empty space. And when a neutron heads towards the blanket, it's a bit like hitting a golf ball into a group of trees. Sometimes the golf ball travels a long way through the trees. Sometimes it bounces around and eventually slows down and stops. And sometimes it hits a tree and comes right back at you. My job at ETA is to study the way the neutrons travel through the machine and the building and the shielding that surrounds it. To do this, we have to create a computer model in which all of the details of the components are faithfully represented. Because a neutron behaves a bit like a golf ball bouncing around through the trees, its actual pathway that it takes can be a bit random. To model this, we use a technique called the Monte Carlo method. This method uses random numbers to make choices about all the different processes that the neutron can undergo as it interacts with the material. Using the Monte Carlo method to model the random pathways the neutron takes requires that we repeat the calculation many, many times. So we use a huge computer housed at the University of Barcelona, which has up to 10,000 processes to allow us to model millions and millions of histories. But if we do this often enough, we can get an average result which is very predictable. And that way we can make a reliable design for the ETA machine.